Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Cars, Bars, and Guitars podcast, episode number 69. 69, 69, 69, 69. Al Jurgensen, we be proud. <laughs> I'm AJ. And I'm Steve. Steve, what or who are we brought to you today by? Kitties! Do tell everyone that you just told me. Uh, we're tentatively getting Punk a kitten for her 13th birthday. <laughs> Uh, um, right now, the running appears to be between a tuxedo cat that messages have gone completely bonkers about uh, possible meetups on Saturday morning, or a cat that looks like a miniature punk at the Cabarrus County Shelter. Well, uh, And oddly enough, there was a three-year-old cat, also named Punk, also a tabby, but not white feet, available too, but may not play nicely with cats. Like, I think it would be real funny to have two cats with the same name. True, but then you'd have to like Highlander fight them because there can only be one. Uh, it would be Punky with a Y and Punky with an I E. Oh, well, normally I'm against I E endings, but it's a cat, so I'll allow it. <laughs> it's not like it chose its name. Uh, well, Steve, what or, are or whatever its new name's going to be? Fair, yeah. Ska. This is going to be Ska the cat. Oh, geez. All right. So Coco's <laughs> original name was Smokey. Uh, Zara's was Arleth. A R L E T H. Hey. Why do I remember that? Because I can't forget it. Uh, because it was Amaranth. Mm. Oh my God. Uh, Amanamarth. <laughs> uh, Kairos. Demu wa- Burger. Demon Burger. My favorite kind of burger. Uh, Kairos was. I don't fucking know. It's Cairo now. But uh, Steve, what Alexandria. Are we, what are we drinking today? Uh, short Mountain Smoky Mountain Apple Pie Tennessee Moonshine. Mm-hmm. That smells delightful. Just got back from Nashville a couple days ago. So that's going to be on the docket for today. Emily, strict orders from the missus. She says, do not finish that whole bottle. I was like, honey, I don't know what kind of planet you think we live on. We Just because we can finish it doesn't mean we're going to finish that whole bottle on air. I mean, that said, uh, it only being 40 proof, that's a realer threat, but, you know... <clears throat> Actually, say something that she likes. We we like it when she's got a few drinks in her. Mm. Short mountain apple pie blends the kick of our authentic Tennessee moonshine with the sweetness of grandma's apple pie. What kind of euphemism is this? <laughs> apple pie is a traditional Tennessee moonshine cocktail flavored with seasonal apples. Which season? which season? <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> Our distillery uses an authentic mash made with spring water and corn grown on our farm, just like it's been done here for over 150 years because prohibition didn't matter. (laughs) Uh, Not in Nashville. That was the only city I've ever been in where when you're downtown Nashville, you still feel like you're in the country. (laughs) (laughs) So before we uh, beer it, too, uh, we're going to give this a here the college try. I think you're going to dig this pretty good. sniff for you it it really does it just tastes like apple pie goodness oh yeah that's uh that's delightful we gotta figure out a way to make a drink with that too any suggestions besides fireball uh that would pair nicely with a hard cider it would um probably not a sweeter side well i don't know that's not super sweet though like if that were it's got it's very cinnamony among amongst its appletonness Maybe we should make like dessert shooters with it, where we have like baked apples and cinnamon schnapps on top with like whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Just spitballing here. The best ideas from us come when I we're say, drunk. I, I didn't say it was baseball season. Rabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> uh, now, all the rage now is a bird or a goat. Yeah, I saw that. And I was like, what, bird goat brewing? What the fuck's going on here? Um, we're also drinking a Samuel Adams Jack O Pumpkin Ale. Uh, it is a paltry four point four percent, eight IBUs. Uh, both of those. Yep. Oddly enough. G- I mean, the uh, if you had uh, oh the mix of cin- cinnamon mm. apple pumpkin. Hmm. Yep. Or the kind kind of gentle boiler maker. Um, there is only that's quite complimentary. It really is the. I think the only Sam Adams you don't like is cherry wheat. Yep. The only Sam Adams I don't like. I don't like the. I can't remember the name. Of it. I think it was the green label, and it's in the spring. It's like real. You know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. The 
well, spring thing. Well, yeah. I don't remember what it was, and I don't remember it being offensive. I don't hate it like you hate cherry wheat. I just it didn't just, enjoy it. it. Spring's not a strong beer season anyway. It's <laughs> no. the, the lighter side of whatever, and uh, that often <clears throat> is not... Uh, Con- conducive? Good, yeah, conducive <laughs> to... Uh, Make things good. So have you taken the ground effects off of your car yet? No, uh, I'm going to keep badgering that guy to figure out just what all was involved with it uh, since one well, of the panels is loose already. The um, front or the back The uh, passenger front corner. I lit enough the uh, passenger front door on the Vibe. <laughs> one of the panels on that was loose the whole time I had the car. Yeah. So you're saying it likes to... Uh... <laughs> It likes to listen to 38 special. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's that's the important thing. Uh, it, I don't hate it. I'd have to see it in person. Um, because it doesn't it have a chin spoiler on it? It does have the, and it's integrated into the front bumper. So that's a little maddening. <laughs> yeah, get, get it nice and uh, cut off to match. <laughs> It'd be like having jorts on your car. <laughs> It'd be a, uh, no, my 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 car will be rocking the Karen haircut. Mm. Something like the first I saw it a dozen years ago, didn't like it then, and still don't like it now. Uh, t- Tom Segura was talking about, uh, I think it was New Jersey, and he goes, and every woman either has blonde hair with black streaks or black hair with blonde streaks, a hairstyle that says, "I don't have a gag reflex." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would think. All right, the cars I've had that had ground effects on them from the factory, which are very few and far between, had like two screws on in the fender well on each fender well, so four screws, and I think the rest of it was like double-sided tape, yeah. like 3M tape, and so I've it can't got, be hard. And I've gotten pretty good at unadhesing things on cars. <laughs> I like the uh, I like the sound of that. Uh, you know what's funny? My um, my flashlight now is like somewhat of a black light too it's pretty bright but it also black light you can still if you shine it on my grill you can still clearly see jeep <laughs> embossed where i took the emblem off but when you turn the light off you can't see it yeah. at all <laughs> but i'm gonna have it repainted and clear uh clear broad anyway uh you know i could have brought the goggles up that i picked up the other day you because f- should have <laughs> those, th- <laughs> the, uh, those things are yeah, the, the we- welding goggles um <laughs> and you know they they make decent sunglasses if it's you know if, there, if there's not a cloud in the sky. Otherwise, you can't see anything. It turns everything <laughs> green. And upon stepping into the car with them, like all the uh, the black surfaces, but like between like the fabric on the doors and mm-hmm. the seat covers, yeah. had this reddish glow to them. Otherwise, everything has a green glow through these goggles. It was really strange. Are they Soylent brand? Maybe. I have not. They seen are really. what uh, me neither. It's like. <laughs> I know the shtick, so uh, now it's only been 50 years in the making. Isn't that a razor? Uh, so I like the product nowadays. Shtick. Oh. Womp. Close enough. Um, You know what? We got it here. I'm trying it right now. All right. Why not? Um, Do you want a little more of the shine, sir? Sure. I mean, it is only 20%. So. Oh, I just picked up a bunch of B-complex vitamins, a couple of teas, and uh, my latest Dr. Pepper knockoff, so uh, why not? Um, I this was... is Dr. Tapper, currently the Aldi General. Um, short Mount, no, this is, a, this is a different brand. They had a, duff, they had a brand of um, organic bourbon. Fucking, I don't know. They just put organic on everything now. Um, they were off. Like, I tried it, and I was like, this is pretty good. And I looked at how much it was. They were awfully proud of how of their organic bourbon because it was a ninety two dollars. <laughs> That's a lot of money to swap flies off your crops. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but the thing is, it wasn't ninety two dollars good. It, it wasn't, wasn't forty six dollars. It good. wasn't forty six dollars good, Steve. It wasn't thirty six dollars good. I would have paid thirty dollars for it, like tops. That's it. That was twenty five bucks. That's worth twenty five dollars. Every day of the week, for a bourbon to be, we've talked. I think we talked about it before. For a bourbon or a whiskey or any kind of booze now that's not beer, it's got to be dynamite to be over forty bucks, or else it's kind of a waste of money at this point. Um, how about uh, how about trying the apple pumpkin meritage? Yes, something it smells weird. <laughs> that's once again tastes better. It smells. Yeah, that that's really. Really good. Actually. That might be uh, your tagline for this episode, by the way. Well, the smell tastes better than it smells. 
it's it's going to get a strong consideration. Well, Steve, all right, so I asked you if uh, if you had been on Facebook in the last three hours because I got off work around 2, 2.30. And I go out to the Jeep, and I find this on my my Jeep, on the, the door handle. It's a duck with a unicorn uh, horn. It's a Jeep thing. You've been ducked. With all the chaos in this place, hope this brings a smile to your face. Now take a pic and upload using the hashtags Ducking Jeep or Duck Duck Jeep on Facebook and Instagram. Spreading the Jeep love. And evidently, they have, these, its rounds. they have these little rubber duckies in the Jeep communities well, and they know, leave them. Well, you know what we have to do. Leave it riding um, on the Jeep. Well, we'll have it on your Jeep. <laughs> yeah. And then have and then have it on this, and then have it riding on top of this, on top of the jeep. It'll be a little uh, ducking jeep sandwich. That we should do that, and actually take the spare tire off and have the duck on on the back of it, like coming in. Oh my god, that's brilliant! I knew I kept you around, other than being handsome. Yeah, but uh, yep. Yeah, all right, well, uh, it takes a Phillips head, but uh, where are you gonna fit it in that? Not now, Windows. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, we got to do that now. Um, but that's, it's clearly a duck with a unicorn horn on. And Emily said, are you going to pay it forward? And I said, well, honey, I don't really have a use for, um, a, a hybrid animal with a Lisa Frank haircut. <laughs> she started laughing a lot. Uh, maybe her desk needs a mascot. I'm going to actually pay it forward. Cause this is actually kind of fucking cool. <laughs> I'm not going to keep it. I have no but need for it, but I'm thinking, did you ever meet Don and Dale Janice? Uh, Mark Melcher's buddies? No, I did they, not. They own a pair of Wranglers, by the way. Uh, what vintage? Recent enough. Okay, because <laughs> the only people that can I think one, I think one's a two door, one's a four door. Okay, one one's <clears throat> properly sticked and one is not. I hated the four door when they first came out, uh-huh. and now it it's looked, weird it's to re- see the two door. And now I've seen a lot of the new note are still. Building and selling and reselling. Yeah. The yeah. uh, two-door ones. All right. Uh, the you screw's m- kind of stuck, but I did get the spare off. <laughs> I knew you were it's doing like, something. Hey, it's, like, hey, uh, it's like, I don't, have, I don't have a Phillips head screwdriver. This can't be on tight enough. Just wedge no. my thumb into it and go. Neat. I'm like, well, there it is. Reminds me of my honeymoon. <laughs> hey And, of course, there's a hole there. Rower. <laughs> to my buddy Jacob Fantagante uh, from the S2000 community. He goes, man, Jeep people are so fucking weird. I said, yep, they kind of, they kind of are. <laughs> but they, I, I looked it up on um, FaceTube. I think a uh, safety pin or straight pin, or a clippy, uh, one of those things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can solve any problem by sticking a paper clip up a duck's ass. That's it. A paper clip. I, <laughs> a clippy. Like I said, it's a... Uh, <laughs> I uh, totally forgot what a paper clip is. That, that's how my day's going. <laughs> that would be a good tagline. There you go. <laughs> um, but no, but I, I am not accepting going into my uh, last quarter as a 38-year-old very well. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, we're all fighting weird battles, and I got to tell you, it kind of sucks, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's what it means when somebody gets ducked, and evidently Becca is, hello, Becca, is jealous. She goes, man, I've been trying to get ducked for years, and you've already gotten ducked. And I was like, this is all new to me, guys. Like, I was, I just went to work and came home, man. Like, this, <laughs> I didn't know any of this was going to happen. But. Uh, for shits and giggles, I looked up Wranglers on Cracklist last night. Mm-hmm. Prices? You got a bargain. Yeah. I think I might have. It's like one of the OG Unlimited, so the two-door stretch. Yeah. So it's an 05. Uh, straight six, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The, I think 06 was the last year of both that model and that engine. Uh-huh. Um, $25,000. Goodness. Um, because I think that's mostly because it's rare. Yeah. Um, that, that seems awfully steep. I remember Rachel and Jason's neighbor had one and <clears throat> them saying at the time it would have been valued at about 15k for what was already a 10 year old car it's so weird that like what like wranglers tacomas the uh 
Tacoma Bay Strangler knockoff. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird how what the market will dictate. There's no reason a Land Rover Defender should be as expensive as it is. Because that that is a tractor. It's worse than it, a Wrangler. It's it, less it, comfortable. It's less reliable. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Like, but it's it's and, so and the styling is pretty much the same. <sighs> yeah, and, and it's, it's the bragging rights that you have this English thing. Meanwhile, no one's clamoring for a Sterling 827 over an original Acura Legend. And why would they? Because that legend it has the name Legend. Sterling's not bad, but it reminds me of Sterling Silver, and that was always kind of like pyrite of gold. 20, 20 years before Sterling Archer, <laughs> That's which true. I was well behind the ball to uh-huh. discover that a new season where they're returning to their spy route. Excuse me. Middle of September. I thought the last season was the last season. Uh, apparently not, because <clears throat> now he's, spoiler alert, because it's in the trailer, he gets out of the coma, and I think they're now merging him with House, because it's him with the cane. Oh my goodness. Being a total wise ass. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I wonder if uh, even more of a drug addict. <laughs> more Vikings. Yes. Yeah, cool. Uh, are you having difficulties over there trying to figure out the logistics of... Uh, screwing the duck's ass. <laughs> oh, I've I've got the answer. It's just gonna take a pair of pliers, pull the screw out, and ah. then just something else to something longer to shove up for its suppository. Ah. I, I, the, the concept is ready. The <clears throat> execution was gonna take a moment, but um, I've got this figured out. So I probably cool. can't do this. Uh, we could on air right now, well, but uh, he can ride. This he, two this two works. He can't ride shotgun, but he can ride on top, and you know. It's a hard top Jeep, so <laughs> the soft go. top Jeep's a little trickier. But that's what it means to be ducked. If you ever hear a Wrangler owner say they got ducked, at least now you know what it is, because I learned today. <laughs> I was today years old when that happened. <sighs> any other car, any other personal news or car personal news before we move on to the beer news? I'm going bore you to death with the good gas mileage I got going to Lexington and back Sunday. I saw the 55 MPG picture you you posted. I was uh, like that's not that that accurate. uh well that is accurate for a brief period of time cuz that would be from the Aldi mm-hmm. to the end of the last valley along Bartlett Road. So about a 5 mile stretch. Mm-hmm. But half of that is all downhill coasting <clears throat> and if you could see over into the corner of the picture by the time I took that picture, the car is doing 14. It had lost some serious momentum by that point. And uh, right, the ground total for that short venture was about 42. Oh, darn. Yeah. I mean. I uh, got 34 interstate, no AC going up, 37 AC on back roads coming back from Lexington to meet up with Kat to give her computer monitors mm. since she's working from home. And just started a new job a week and a half ago. Okay, cool. Uh, is it an upgrade, side grade, downgrade? Uh, she had once again grown to hate her previous job, and uh, new club. and the new institution had scouted her out. That makes negotiating your salary a much easier prospect. <laughs> and she and Josh, just yeah, she and Josh, her husband of five years, just got a puppy, Floyd, uh, a white. Mud of who knows what with pink nose. <clears throat> the mugs are uh, healthier. To go along with Sophie, Josh's hound of 12 years, that looks like a gazelle and acts like a puppy. Interesting. Uh, Not malnourished, so- but Sophie just a skinny. Sophie is bonkers. A 35-pound hound, very lean, very energetic, hmm. uh, very much an attention whore. And, I would get along with this dog. And will... <laughs> Attempt to fight my brother's pit mix. Oh, Jesus. Which is much more docile and probably 70 pounds. Not the size of the dog in the fight. Size of the fight in the dog. That's what they tell me. I don't know what kind of grilling you're doing, but <laughs> I don't want any part of this. Uh, it's going to be turkey tenderloins later. <laughs> <laughs> that I like turkey. Oh, yes. We, we were out at... Um, I think that's where so many people go wrong on Thanksgiving. Uh, that or a smoked... Is absolutely the way to go. Smoked anything is pretty much amazing. Or if you decide to fry it, uh, make sure it's thawed first. Yeah, you as don't much wish fun to... as that an exploding turkey is. Uh, at least six or seven every Thanksgiving, I would say. Uh, 
You don't live, you don't learn, evidently. Yeah, my birthday being on Thanksgiving, it's very difficult to put the candles in the turkey. When is your next birthday that's on Thanksgiving? Like after this year? Ye- it's, it's this year? It, it's going to be this year. <clears throat> okay. Is that... How is that? It, I, I would li- I would enjoy that, I think. It, it's all I know that, True. By, that I have a birthday near it. Um, so that usually this always kind of comes in conjunction the reason I would like it is K- because Kalen's is almost Memorial Day. Yours is a day ahead of Valentine's Day. You know, who are these poor bastards that don't have holiday adjacent birthdays? I mean, my dad's is on Christmas Day. Uh, so are both of Kalen's parents. That's incredible. They'll be 66 and 67. They are exactly a year apart. Pops will be 74 this year. Uh, let's see. Emily has, has no significance to anything in the middle of August. Uh, mom's is September 23rd, which is the first day of fall. Uh, nope, that's, that's, oh, Emily's brothers is a day before leap day. He was almost, and it was 80, 88. Yeah. He's two years younger than us. Oh, that's funny. But that being before an actual leap year would have occurred. Yep. (laughs) Yes, it would be. So he was at a very class of like. A guy a few years ahead of me in school who was a day before Leap Day 1980. Hmm. Why is that a th- Actually, I know why that's a thing. Uh, I don't the, know why the, I was going to say that. Uh, the world operates at about yeah, 365 yeah. and a quarter days, and you have to adjust your calendars accordingly. Wouldn't it be more entertaining, though, to just have that quarter day and then just start time over and have it, like, at midnight be broad, broad daylight for I, I'm a couple still of decades? To, I'm still trying to figure out how to make a metric day. Hmm. We could do, yeah. You no, know, so, something like, you know, ten, like 10 hours that span <clears throat> the course of the day or, yeah. you know, 100 hours, and then it divides much more evenly. Well, in, uh, that, let's see. That would bid my watch collection goodbye, but whatever. They're cheap. Well, you know what? I'm going to start telling people instead of 34. How old are you? I'm 1.111 in Celsius. <laughs> I'm much younger than I look. Uh, birthdays of it. I was thinking of other. There's no other significant family members I have that have birthdays on days that mean anything. Uh, My sister's is Canada Day. Do you blame her for that? <laughs> You really can't. Not now, South Park. All right. On to beer news, Steve. Uh, this sounds like a fantastic that, that idea. Bring, that brings me to why I brought the two that I did today. Oh, nice. This is amazing, and I'm kind of sad I didn't think of it. Um, cars and craft beer. Uh, a virtual reality racing simulator merges with craft beer at the track at Asheville in Biltmore Village. So it's like Wait, a, that's a thing. It is. It's going to open soon. It's going to be a VR driving experience inside a brewery. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it is virtual reality. Can you get a virtual DUI? No. Um, a, a lot of the fun with the COVID racing sims going on now is you know, being able to race cars virtually while under the influence. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't honestly sponsor a you know drink and drive festival of any sort in reality but it's all done digitally what are you gonna do <laughs> fall out of your chair <laughs> Can't you go, go, go barf on your keyboard and like, <laughs> those are cheap it's fine i good, like good the, ones aren't but plain jane ones forget it it doesn't matter i like the idea because you could have high scores and then you could have high score like the sober high score uh-huh. and then the one beer in two beers in there's and it's in the Biltmore Village, which, by all, by my last account, is the nice, ritzy area uh, of Asheville. You ever seen McDonald's there? Seen a couple Chick Fil A's. Uh, the McDonald's in Biltmore Village is gorgeous. Because you said that, I don't even have to. It just because of all the like fancy shops surrounding it, the yeah. the architectural style is lovely. Um, also, Biltmore Village least likely area you thought would have flooded during a hurricane because that happened a few years ago was that during that wasn't during florence was it or maria Uh, they i can't remember the hurricane i had front row seats to it was just isuzu it doesn't have a name it's just that thing that happened at a certain time the whole naming scheme i find really strange 
Um, your hurricane I, was Isaias. That was what it was. But how do you butcher the word Isaiah that badly? Man, they're running out of names, man. Hurricane's <laughs> been being named for hundreds of years. <laughs> <Yeah>. Jorge. <laughs> I, I, I like George Carlin's name. It's like, he's like, has there ever been one named Ed? He goes, this is friendly new. Hey, you guys are evacuating. Fuck no, Ed's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's already been Hurricane Karen, right? <laughs> every fucking day at Food Lion. Hey, yo. Uh, Laura is coming to Galveston, and uh, it looks my, like it's going to be a fucking monster. My sister-in-law's name, oddly enough. My sister's name, oddly enough. <laughs> uh, she doesn't go by that. She goes by Holland, the country, yes. Uh, uh, I had a male classmate years ago named Holland. He was cool. Cool. He. <clears throat> um, Olympia Beer. He, he preferred to go by Netherlands. Hmm. Well, I got no puns for that. Olympia beer, one of the first craft you, you, beer. You, you don't want to split the thing and go Dutch? Well, wooden shoes, you look at the time. Uh, Olympia beer is now distilling vodka. They are one of the original craft beer pioneers when craft beer wasn't really what it is today. That's not the same people that made uh, oh. Rainier, was it? I don't think so. I think that was a separate entity, but please, please look it up and prove me. Possibly wrong. Olympia ear. Olymp- Olympia ear. <laughs> I'm happy to be wrong, but because we be like a bunch of beers from Aldi back in the day called Tumwater Beer. Is it good uh, for indigestion? It, it was it closed in '03. <clears throat> Through a series of consolidations required by Pabst Brewing Company in 99 and Tumwater closed in 03. Hmm. Not produced on site for years. Building hasn't produced a drop <clears throat> since 03. Hmm. Maybe they... I have no idea. I believe everything the internet tells me. <clears throat> Don't. <laughs> Well, in light of that, Steve, uh, Harpoon and Duncan are making a 12-pack donut-infused booze. Now, we've had it before. We've had the on, on podcast. We've had it on air. We've had the Harpoon, the Duncan. It was the original coffee porter. Remember that? I know you don't maybe remember the episode, but you remember well, having that say one. coffee porter. <clears throat> yep. It's good. Well, they have three more that are a... It's a 12-pack donut-infused... It's, a, it's, it's an donut-infused 12-pack. Uh, the other flavors sound delightful. Uh, pumpkin Spice Latte Ale, a Boston Cream Stout, and Jelly Donut IPA. Interesting. We need to uh, purvey this. Um, <clears throat> definitely the sweeter side of uh, IPAs, huh? I guess it's got to be a double or a triple, right? Uh, I mean, often the stronger mm-hmm. IPAs do come in sweeter oddly enough that is the alcohol in that right that's not any because hops are hops and yeah ho- hops are hops there's more sugar that goes into creating the alcohol yep i'm trying to see uh where understand. Uh, a particular texas brewery is and not looking good uh, <clears throat> it, between houston and san antonio is where spotzel brewery is that makes Shinerbach. Ooh, that's uh, not good yeah <clears throat> They're about to get Laura Marcoed. Mm, they're going to... Yeah, because it's heading like right towards Galveston, Houston. Ga- yeah, Ga- Galveston is the mm. island off the coast of Houston. It looks really nice from... Everybody says Galveston's like super duper nice. It's like Galveston is Texas's Hilton Head. <laughs> Does it seem accurate? That works, You've uh, been to Hilton so Head though, right? No, I've been to Folly, but not to Edisto, mm. not to Hilton Head. Mm. Uh, I've seen Georgetown from Highway 17. It's made of nothing but sailboats. Want a boat, Richie? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, it, it looks cool, but I've never stopped by any of the uh, fancy spots there, but Folly's fun. Interesting. And uh, on the other side of the Charleston coast, uh, Isle of Palms and Mount Pleasant are nice. I've been to Mount Pleasant and I've been to Folly, but I have not been. I've not been there. In other news, Steve, Bush, that Bush, Debuts my, a, my brother's old hunt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one one year for Halloween, he was the Bush Knight. He saved anybody... a bunch of he saved a bunch of beer boxes <laughs> and made a suit of cardboard armor out of it. Anything worth doing is worth doing right. 
Bush debuts a broth-based dog beer. It's non-alcoholic and it comes in twelve-ounce cans. It's for you and it's for your dog to enjoy while you're enjoying the alcoholic version. The thought, once again, the thought was there. It'll it'll sell. I, I, I mean, you know what's cheaper than that? Broth. It reminds me and of the tonic Ron, water. <laughs> reminds me of the Ron White bit about someone complaining about a vegetable soup containing a beef broth. Yeah. Broth. <laughs> I can't have broth. <laughs> it's made of cows. I don't know how, but it's made of cows. Yes. So you're a man's man, aren't you? Your system's kicking back broth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you rejected salt. That's really what you're doing. I mean, yeah. I mean, like the, the McDonald's fries that had the beef seasoning in them. Like, yep. I know it is, but can you taste it? I mean, it's only a little bit. It's made of tiny cows. It's I mean, practically veal. I mean, we, and that makes it even more cruel. I mean, delicious. Y- you and I are militant, militantly anti-religious, but we still enjoy the Lord's chicken when we don't have to pay for it. <laughs> if I don't have to twice, spend... twice on Sundays, even better. Bogo at Chick Fil A this Sunday, everyone. <laughs> uh, and last but not and, least, and oddly enough, uh, our newer, dumber cars don't have leather interiors. I would prefer to eat my cows and sit on them, thank you. Which is real funny when Rachel got her uh, newer Mazda. Mm-hmm. And this is after, right after she told me that she'd gone vegan. It's like, you and what leather interior? Uh, <laughs> as far I mean, as diet goes, like, ah. Uh. Well, you know what? The, the animal died for humans. And it's kind of the same I, thing, I, isn't it? I hope that interior holds up okay. I've seen so many Mazas that are five years old with mm-hmm. the perforated letter just trashed. Here's a problem it, with it, having like, does not hold up. Well, if, and the and the perfs are already you know Swiss cheese to, from the get go. I was gonna say if it already has holes in it, the law of physics would dictate that it's gonna have more holes in it eventually, right? <laughs> I, I guess if you go all the way vegan, wouldn't you have to have a car with no leather interior? Your shoes. Yep. Can't have leather. Yep. I mean, that's easy. Fair. Unless you want to just walk around Elvising it all the time. Barefoot? Blue suede shoes. Barefoot? That's Gandhi. Uh, <laughs> don't suede is. <laughs> I mean, base, basically. <laughs> uh, if it micro suede, you know, if it's a synthetic, but, you know, have you seen how badly Alcantara wears? Alcantara shoes. <laughs> yeah, it, it sounds it's good in theory, but then it looks like. A fucking used pair of underwear after about a year. It's uh-huh. disgusting. Uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, you can't really clean it that uh-uh. good. I mean... No. <sighs> no. So unless you just have a and stockpile of And even weirder are um, you know, the, the soft-touch rubber surfaces in cars. Oh. Just... C5 vet. Just become um, BMWs and Land Rovers. No way. That the, what vintage? The, the controls disintegrate like five, seven years. Like no five seven years ago. Yes. What? Yeah. Like Rubber? like the like the soft touch plastics on the door handles, on like the pull handles, on your start stop buttons. You're using that all the time. Just get icky and short of replacing it. There's not really a good way to mm. completely remedy it. I'm I've around. seen it happen on like some computer parts, like a mouse with like the rubberized grip. Yeah. Really nice until that falls apart. You know, this thing's this sheep mouse is hot garbage, but it's plastic. That just plastic. Mm-hmm. So when when it goes, it's time to get rid of it. Or you no, know, at the current time, it's time to get rid of it. Whatever. I've seen what my fretboard looks like on my guitar after a couple of shows, and it's not good. So I have to clean it. So I can't imagine something a surface you don't clean at all. How that would? I often have a few uh, gag reflex moments per week. Uh, t- today was, uh, the urinal Chevy Impala. Oh no. Uh, it totally smelled the part. Yeah. What, what year? Newer than it should smell like piss. <laughs> 13, 14. Newer than it should smell 70, like piss. 75 K on it. Ugh. Yeah. I, you know, like the, we're, we're just trying to drive numbers. Uh, yeah. When Tyler asked me, he's like, what, would you buy a car from Carvana? It's like, uh, perhaps, but. 
they do run expensive. And uh, are you prepared to clean your own car when you first get it? Because <laughs> the detail crew is not good at what they do. <laughs> and they're so busy trying to drive numbers. Like, it was good enough. Fine. Like, good enough I, for government work. <laughs> uh, you have something, something lowest bidder? You betcha. Yeah. Uh, I feel like you and I would be really good, but the thing is, we wouldn't be turning them quite as quickly. Uh, that's why mm. I'm in inspection. It's like, and I'm often annoyed with what I see. It's like, it, it's going to take something extra special to actually have to, like, you know, send it off to be re-cleaned or whatever have you. It's like, <clears throat> I, I'm often disappointed. Did they I actually f- had a powwow yesterday with the detail crew. <laughs> it's Ooh. like, all right, well, <laughs> so... The following has happened to the following car, so they they, they made the detail lead shit list, uh, and now they've been signing off on whatever they've been doing badly, so there's accountability. That's sort of moving. I feel like the, the lady who had my Wrangler before me had her purse turnover in the car, and then something... Fu- I found an obscene amount of Vaseline on top of the carpet. Underneath the passenger's back seat, and you know, unreasonable. My, my, cig- my cigarette burns don't sound so bad now. Um, it, that's all the smell. The, there's no other smell. They're unsightly, but uh, yeah. there's no scent. They're not goopy. That's the thing. There's no scent, so I'm not worried that any weird activities went on in the back of it. There's no stains. There's no scent. It's just Vaseline, or maybe some just really old lotion. I don't know, but it is kind of goopy. It has no scent. Has no taste. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you want next? I know you're out because you drink faster than me. You want one of yours, one of mine. Uh, Full time. We'll love it just do, like mine. Uh, let's do a Shinerbach. Let's do a Shinerbach because uh, they might not be a thing anymore after a couple of days. And last but not least, Steve, while you're getting that, uh, beer consumption may lead to attracting more mosquitoes while you're outside enjoying your beverage. There it might be something to be said about that. <laughs> uh, here's the thing, though. Thank you very much, Mr. Zerato. Uh, yeah, the uh, magic of her being on blood thinners, therefore, can't be on birth control. Shit. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, yeah, that, that was some difficult news two years ago. Um... Luckily, she did manage to get a year supply for free. Well, I was going to say, like, the, everything going on with uh, between jobs and lack of insurance, it's like as much fun as Cobra is to pay for, which would be backlogged four months. Oh fuck me! Um, is that just one style of birth control? Because they have like Marina or a Marina, Dutney, whatever she'd been on was incompatible. That's weird. That I don't. I don't understand how things work. But I'm not a doctor. <laughs> Shiner box, Steve. Um, there you go. Uh, Spetzel Brewery. Yep, still good. Warm. Shiner, Texas. Seven seven nine eight four. Every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner. Uh, how would you describe a Bach without looking it up? Sweeter than your average lager. Sweet lager. Yeah, I would. I would agree with that. Uh, this is between a yingling and a red oak. Redling. Ying oak? <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue that well. No. Uh, so do we want to do... Uh, we don't have a car topic today. But, but, uh, we... well, but while on the topic of beer news, uh, yes. Shiner being out of Shiner, Texas, is unfortunately well within paths of the double-teaming hurricane striking the Gulf Coast at the crack of what now? The other hurricane is now not even anything. What, uh, it's Marco? Not even a, yeah, Marco is not even a post-tropical depression. It's just gone. Or did this get absorbed, if that even is a thing? Uh, no, actually, it's it's just it's just gone. Like, there's no more of that. Now, Laura is currently knock-knock knocking on their door. Currently. I got the NHC. Of course, if it's striking Galveston and Houston, it's probably going to do some damage to NOLA, you know, <clears throat> 15 years ago and all. As all as they all do, holy fuck, man! Uh, it's a it's a cat four now. <laughs> Laura, there there's there's Laura. Uh, uh, yeah, be, being front row to a cat one was already irritating. Don't talk about your sister like that. Nah, nope. That it's uh, and actually it's gonna turn and we're gonna have tropical depression 
uh, wind speeds on Saturday, right in time for my show on Friday. <laughs> Yikes. Yep, Laura is right there, and it's, uh, yep, this, this, this is pretty good. Does does not look good at all. <laughs> I want front row seats so, to look so at four. So what you're saying is I'm still not going to be able to uh, watch and wax the car ever, huh? Is, is this gonna, <sighs> the paint's is going to fall off like the vibes did. Well, it looks like it because I haven't washed the Jeep since I've had it because every it oh, rains every two fucking days. You at least garage yours, so it's going to fare better. And it's white, so it always yeah, looks clean. Am I garage? No, it's, your white Jeep remains clean because you keep it clean instead of, let's say if you were to see Cat's 06 Forerunner, it's white uh. with... Generous pot marking on the hood. <laughs> it's not looking good. Really? Uh, now that she's had that seven or eight years, and it's last eighty thousand miles to take it from twenty to a hundred. That's not been an easy uh, trip. Uh, mechanically, it's fine. Well, yeah, it's, um, it's a Yoda, so yeah. But no, Laura's coming, and we're not even. It's not even September, and we're, we're in the peak of the season now, so we're still going to get more named storms yeah um when kayla and i first were dating so april to october of 16 uh my joke then was it was hurricane my future father-in-law hurricane matthew it was matthew wasn't because that cost me my trip to myrtle beach with colin that year yeah. and many of them have been hurricaned out since then <clears throat> well you know Adam and Courtney, who got married, and that's why we went to Nashville. They, Mazel Tov and all. They had the they 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 had their original wedding day. They got married at the courthouse that day, uh, on their original wedding day. Although you know, not the whole shebang. Shebang. But you know, all the headache, and then they go, oh, I'm like, hey, where are you going for your honeymoon? Oh, we're going to the Gulf Coast Monday. No, you're not. They are. They're they're there now. But they're in the panhandle of Florida. I was, say, I was like, yeah. what? Uh, yeah, it's just going to be windy there. That are muscle show, muscle shoals. Muscle shoals. How does Leonard Skinner say it so easily? Uh, you know, when you don't care how you pronounce things, it just rolls off the tongue a little bit better. <laughs> but they are down there now, so I think they're. I think they originally were going to go over to New Orleans, but now they're not going to do that. Although it's probably not a line to to get in some of these places. I mean. Price still gonna have the buy one get two free beer specials in the US. That's fair. I oh, you, did you hear about the guy that uh, went to New Orleans and uh, as a bartender for a hurricane and a Corona? Yep, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Mark keeps says, "Yep, that'll be 2020." Yep, I so, love it. Funny, funny thing is that uh, Corona is gonna be buy one get two free. Mm, it kind of is. And we're not that said, I, I drank so much Abita there, I was sick of it by the end of it, because that was the default beer being, you know, from around the corner. Mm-hmm. Uh, that and the Chapatulus IPA was fantastic. The Chapatulus, the meal, is also fantastic. I'm unaware yeah. of that being a thing. Chapatulus? It's a... Y- I know it was a street and a brewery. It's a food. All right. Uh, the first tea's silent, <clears throat> if I recall correctly? Yeah, it's like Czar's. Not yeah, Chapatulas. No, it, it's COVID, not SARS. Chapatulas, the food recipe. Chapatulas recipe. There we go. Shrimp chapatulas, chicken chapatulas. Chapatulas is just fun to say. Chapatulas, mm. chapatulas, chapatulas. Say so it like Zoidberg. <laughs> chapatulas. <laughs> Cajun chicken with baronaise sauce. Let's see here. It, I had to look it up because I couldn't like accurately tell you what was in it. I just know it was really good. <clears throat> and you like more shit than I do, so you're going to automatically like it. Uh, so <laughs> It's not like it contains blue cheese or licorice, right? No, you're then we're, then we're good. <laughs> All out of that. Let's see. Uh, peeled and diced potatoes, boneless skinless chicken, butter, vegetable oil, chopped green onions, nor baronaise sauce, uh, seasoning salt, cayenne, onion powder, paprika, black pepper, and ground thyme. Nor's <clears throat> sauces are good. Mm-hmm. Baronet's sauce is good too. It's like, it looks like sausage gravy, is what it looks like. Deal. <clears throat> yep. I mean, can't can't go wrong with all those ingredients. 
Speaking of that, got home yesterday, and I'm like, I'm going to try this meal planning thing. I don't feel like cooking every day. I don't see how anybody feels like cooking every yeah, day. You get you got fridge and freezer, mm-hmm. and you got a garage, so if you wanted a secondary refrigerator, that'd be quite easy to do. It would, and I have the beer so fridge they, up so here, but that's... Two and a half beer fridges. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I made gravy, and I made biscuits for breakfast, and I made stovetop and rice, and... Beef taco meat, and then I made chorizo, and that's enough food for a little while. <laughs> I can I can make that last for a little while. No Mexican today. Steve's got turkey medallions. I've got all that shit to eat. <clears throat> so we have, uh, in honor of number sixty nine, we have songs of or pertaining to sex, which surprisingly we haven't done yet. Unsurprisingly, whatever. I, I was undecided. I didn't write anything down because I didn't know. We only kind of spoke about it Monday or Friday, whatever. I didn't I didn't necessarily want to do songs with sex in the title, just like suggestive songs that you know what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, you got some good ones? Uh, well, we could start with the topic of sexy song, Black Velvet. By Alana Miles. That is. It was probably a sexy song before I even knew what that would be. Just something about it. It was 90? Uh, that's just been around forever in my book. So, you I was I, I immediately thought of I Want Your Sex from uh, uh, fucking George Michael. <clears throat> Not the bad touch by the Blyhound Gang. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> that, that is that. <laughs> that is that. Uh, and I immediately thought of uh, Pogo from System of a Down. <laughs> nice. Wait, it's not about... No, it's, uh, it's about... Oh, it's not about a pogo stick? Uh, no. A trick? Show me your dick? <clears throat> okay. Uh, close. It was uh, December 89. Ugh. Um, recorded October of 88. What the 500 miles is this? <laughs> you know the story behind that, don't you? Well, the Proclaimers? Yeah. Nah. They, so the, Procl- the, 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 the Proclaimers wrote 500 miles, and it wasn't even a hit. Like, it didn't even get the status until like five years after they actually wrote the song. Um, Speaking of slow burns, uh, <clears throat> she got the 1991 Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance for the song... And the 1990 Juno Award for Single of the Year. Interesting. It. I mean, <clears throat> you said 91 for Single of the Year? Yeah, so that's a really slow fuck? burn in the song. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Uh, what about doing it from LL Cool J? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here, Here's a fun fact. I never... I was watching MTV Movie Award, or Music Awards when this... When he was doing... He was performing... He was doing doing it. He was performing doing it. They bleep. There's a line in the song that's toning you down with uh, vanilla ice cream. They bleeped out vanilla ice cream, and I looked at my sister during that. I was like, "Why did they bleep out vanilla ice cream?" She goes, "I have no idea." Because like in the video, he actually has vanilla ice cream in his hand. So that's what they were talking about, uh-huh. and they bleeped it out. I don't know, but they did. What else you got? This is this is fun. Uh, album titles. Typo negative, slow, deep, and hard. Um, Which, if you've not listened to them, uh, probably don't. That is just the <laughs> most depressing shit ever. Yeah, it is. It's just not. It's not fantastic. Uh, let's take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> Blink. Yes. <laughs> Another Bloodhound Gang. The Ballad of J C Lane. Yeah. You want to explain to the the folks at home who J C Lane is? Uh, let's just say the gentleman in said band had a crush on a prawn star. <clears throat> She is a sexual intercourse enthusiast, is what we call. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the uh, cradle of filth? Bitter sweets to suck you by. <clears throat> uh, we got uh, "I'll Make Love to You" by Boys, Boys to, Men. to Men. I miss R and B. It's funny because that was such a huge middle school dance song in my day. <laughs> it was. It, same here. But I miss R and B and soul. Like they don't make like Maxwell and D'Angelo. Like it's all just. It's it's just hip hop or it's just nothing. Like I miss like stuff like that. Or whatever sort of super dirty shit we just don't listen to. 
from I know Cardi B or whomever. <sighs> yeah, it's, like, it's it's not music. No, it's not. It's just uh, mm. auto tuned samples of machines fucking sexual healing. KMFDM, <clears throat> the mating sounds of helicopters from their 1984 <laughs> release, Opium. That's amazing. Did you say 84? 84. Uh, I have not their, heard that. Their <laughs> really early stuff is bizarre. By the late 80s, they were probably in cahoots for competing directly with Ministry in their heyday. Okay. So that, that's when it actually got good. Okay. If you're into, you know. Super heavy stuff. Yeah, but you listen to it now, and you're it's like, funny. It's, like, it's not. Like, uh, you know, it's, it played for mm-hmm. Kaylin, and she liked it. Oddly enough, she said she's a Metallica fan. I was real surprised by that. That's interesting. I don't think Metallica has any sex songs. New. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just thought of one. Although the uh, not cover not. of Load was Blood and Semen. It wasn't That's... It wasn't Fire on that album cover. I, yeah, I remember that. Uh, load. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to sex you up from <laughs> Color Me Bad. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or their uh, live album with the San Francisco <clears throat> Orchestra, Symphony and Metallica, or abbreviated S&M. Yep. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think there's any like actual Metallica song that's about that. But, you know, could be wrong. Haven't I've delved into the catalog, but it, it escapes not, me. Nothing really strikes that it's not, not exactly a sexy genre from sexy people either no let's talk about sex salt and pepper let's talk about sex baby let's talk about you and me let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be let's mm. talk about six i'm allergic to it i gotta sneeze <laughs> <laughs> oh god it hurts <laughs> that might be the first on-air sneeze uh, um, your body is a wonderland, Steve. <laughs> uh, Britney Spears is a slave for you. Like, um, mm. after 1865, nobody had to do that. Thank you very much. Mm, I mean, allegedly. Uh, what about fucking? Oh God, what was it? I had? It, I had? It, I had it. <sighs> Sex on fire. Fucking Kings of Leon. Do I want to know? Arctic Monkeys. I haven't heard any Arctic Monkeys. Uh, mm. Like many, their earlier catalogs better. What about uh, if you if you think I'm sexy, Rust? <laughs> I just, every time I think of that, I think about So I Married an Axe Murderer when he's doing it in the sky. If you want my body and you think I'm sexy, <laughs> the come piper. up and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> again, we have a... We have a, a piper dune. We have a piper dune. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's fantastic. I, uh, I it love se- that it movie. It seems like that piper could use some sexual healing. <laughs> Woman. Whoa, man. <laughs> Whoa, man. Whoa, <laughs> man. Uh, love in an elevator? Yep. That's... Living it up when I'm going down. Wow, 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 wow. And also, I That's guess... That's definitely one of Arison's better ones. What was the... Uh, sweet Emotion, going down on a muffin. No, wait, that wasn't Sweet Emotion. What was the... Yeah, talk about... No. Oh, Walk This Way had down on a muffin. That had, that was part of the... That was that was a lyric in the song. I distinctly right. remember that. Um, <laughs> the funny thing about a lot of these songs I've heard a zillion times, I couldn't tell you what... Any of the lyrics are outside of the title of song in song. <laughs> Just like, yeah, it, it's a never ending game of name that tune at work. Like, you leave it on 99.7. Like, I'm going to know in three notes what that is. Yeah, pretty much. I'm, you're more versed in classic rock, and then I'm more versed in like some of the harder metal, I think, but not a whole lot of hard metal going on. That's, I don't know. There's a song by, uh, uh, cattle decapitation called forced gender reassignment it's fucking the video is so bad I, I, so that's what happens if 1945 went differently is that it if 1945 instead went 1984 been, instead of now it's simply been it's approaching outlawed 1980, 1945 goes 1984 queens of the stone age make it with you I hate that song so much 
Uh, I just find it so fucking irritating. Like, <laughs> Anytime, anywhere. Soundgarden has big dumb sex <laughs> and full on Kevin's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what if you wish to fornicate someone like a creature? Oh, Nine Inch Nails Closer. I don't think that's. Is it about? I mean, we, we Google why to me. Hey, probably not. But there's another uh, reptile. This is about him fucking a prostitute. I think. You know. <clears throat> That whole album. Yeah, I haven't bothered like you know reading Genius for the lyrics or the uh, <laughs> song memes. or or song ruiner like that. That's your other podcast is song Gosh, ruiner fucking should versus be. you know the Beato and CGH bit of like yeah here's the individual parts of it. it's like no, here's the stories behind these songs and uh, mm. you're really gonna hate what happens when you discover this little ditty's about crystal meth. Uh, yeah, that and like Better Man from Pearl Jam is fucking dark as fuck. And Emily didn't realize what it was about. I think Stone Gossard wrote the song. He's like, this song, this next song is about the pe- the, the the piece of shit my mother married. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get it on, Steve. Oh, my. Uh, I can't believe we forgot about that. <laughs> the Undertones Teenage Kicks. That doesn't not ring a bell at all. No. <clears throat> okay, it's old. Uh, it looks old. Uh, Why? Because it's in black and white. Because it's "Wicked Game" by Chris Isaac. Oh that's my such a goodness! Good, that's such a good song and good video. Yep. What about um, "I Touch Myself" from the Divine? Nice. I, uh, I didn't say the, anything about solo sex. The <laughs> cover, uh, Queens of Stone Age. No, uh, Eagle Death Metal solo flights. Mm, real. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> uh, also, mm. the "Wicked Game" cover by him. Like, Love or Hate by Majara, that's how I discovered that band, and that's an awesome cover. Um, also, Cause love is only gonna break your heart. The cover, uh, Adam Gontier from Three Days, the former uh, member of Three Days Grace, he did a cover of Wicked Game. It's it's really nice. good. Uh, <clears throat> Steve, I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. I didn't know how lost I was until I found you. <clears throat> You're not the only one in wilderness, apparently. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through. Oh my God. Please tell me. Like a surgeon? Yes. Uh, yes. Like Once again, like songs I heard forever. Like I can't be bothered to pay attention to the words. It, it helps when I do it in the same... Totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Need you tonight, because I'm not sleeping. Another good one. Do, uh, Sophie do. B. Hawkins. Damn, I wish I was your lover. You remember that one? That's a good, that's, that's a hot ass video. Other song of hers, whatever it was. Oh, fuck. What was it? Um, exactly. <laughs> I, was like, I, remember, like, I remember that, but I can't place the song <laughs> that you just said, but I'm thinking of the other thing that I can't remember because. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. I got to look it up. I'm now. getting bocked up. Sophie B. Hawkins. It was a big song, wasn't it? It, uh, she she was a big oh, name. Of like as one. I lay me down. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, that I, I didn't I like, like that, that song. <laughs> I didn't like that one either. Do you remember Damn? You don't remember Damn? I wish I was your lover. No. It had her like rolling around on the bed and everything. It was, it's a fucking great song. Um, what about Heart? Um, all I want to do is make love to you. Nice. Uh, uh, Heart. Whoa, was- whoa, whoa! Bruce Springsteen's on fire. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's one of those better songs. Santa Claus is coming. <laughs> it's coming. Oh, it's oh, coming to town. <laughs> Holy shit, that's the tagline. It's coming to town. I didn't know Santa drove a Dodge Ram diesel. Uh, I always thought that. Like that in the scat pack. Like, what the fuck's going on at, at, <laughs> what? at FCA? Uh, fun thing about the scat pack cars... There's a trip computer that will tell you maximum speed achieved by car. We had a challenger roll through with the top speed of... 170. Guess. Close. 175? 164. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> and disappointing was one where the top speed was clocked in at 53. It had 1,000 miles on it. Uh, okay. Um, I like when people's I had my car up to 180. I'm like... No, kilometers you, you fucking didn't like my speedometer goes up to 160 
That doesn't mean your car goes up to 160, you fucking dingus. Hey, my previous car and current car, the Speedo goes up to 150. Well, I can vouch that both of them could do at least 100. Uh, my last, my only two Jeeps I've ever had only go up to 100. And I can only vouch for one of them made it to 100. Alle- I ha- allegedly. Haven't gotten the white one up to there yet. Frankie says relax, Steve. Don't do it until you want to go through it. What the Zoolander's <clears throat> going on here? Blue steel. <laughs> Ooh, Wait, are you Are you telling me that Lady Marmalade by LaBelle no. is some sort of sexy tune? Can't be. Because <laughs> voulez-vous coucher avec moi? Quoi? <laughs> K in the hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Rihanna, or Rihanna, Aaliyah, Rock the Boat. You remember that? That's a good song. That's the video they made. They flew down, and when they flew back, she died. That That's when the plane crashed. Whoops. So that, Aaliyah was gorgeous. I didn't realize her and R. Kelly were actually married when she was 15. <clears throat> oh, that's a... So they're saying he also started early. Mm, he did. He likes them like he likes... I don't know. <laughs> I wish not to get myself in trouble. Do continue, Steve. I do have D'Angelo, how an untitled. Remember that video where he's just standing there naked singing? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Are you telling me that Lollipop by Little Wayne is not about candy? Sure do you want the whoa. Uh, Framing Hanley did a metal cover of that. It wasn't terrible. <laughs> you really got me by the kinks and then covered by Van Halen. Van Halen did it better. <laughs> Girl, you really got me going. You got me so I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you really got me now. You got me so I can't sleep at night. Um, Barry White. Can't get enough of your love, baby. That's a little bit stretched, but I was actually thinking about fucking songs instead of... Uh, uh title track uh, from Depeche Mode's 1993 effort. Probably the first time I ever saw Buibs. And a CD cover. What? I Feel You by Depeche Mode. Never mind, I much preferred Master and Servant on the same album. Did, which is awesome. Yeah. What, did, did Depeche Mode do I Just Can't Get Enough? Yeah. Okay. Now, they were, well, they, they were considered New Wave, weren't they? Yeah, it was like New Wave, and their heavier stuff was borderline industrial. Really? And Cam FDM. May or may not mean uh, kill motherfucking Depeche Mode, <laughs> but the original title, uh, the original meaning was uh, "Kein Merkeit für die Mitglied." No, "Kein Mitglied für die Merkeit." What, are they German? Yeah. Okay. That, that uh, they the, the band started in Chicago, but it was made of Germans. Okay. But uh, the that phrase meaning "no pity for the majority." I like that. <laughs> I really do like that. Uh, Steve, does your milkshake bring all the boys to the yard? <laughs> no, all the grass does. Mm, yes, it doesn't it though. <laughs> Can I get a what what by Jay Z? Could I get with you without or could I hit it in the morning without giving you half of my dough? And even worse, if I was broke, would you want me? <laughs> it, oh yeah, I remember that because. I played AAU basketball, and I was the only marshmallow in the chocolate chip factory most of the time, so I got to hear a lot. I don't mind hip-hop like that, though. I actually enjoy hip-hop yeah, from well, Back also when uh, hip-hop was good. Mm-hmm. My fav- I think one of my favorite ones when they used to play, uh, there was a DMX song that had um, Crazy Bone from Buck- Bone Thugs and Harmony. The, fir- the opening line was, if I'm going to rob, I'm going to rob all night. If I'm looking for something, probably a fight. If I'm going to fuck bitches, then they better be tight. And if that's dead, then the head better be right. <laughs> <laughs> I, will always, I will always remember that. Are you implying a mouth is a variable uh, <clears throat> tightness? <laughs> variable tightness. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song called Jeepster by T-Rex. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, mostly famous for Bang a Gong. Mm. Or how I got kicked out of a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> uh, Steve, this is one of the sexiest songs I've ever heard. Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Red Light Special from TLC. Ooh. You remember that one? Uh-huh. God, that is such a great song. And I love TLC. Two out of three. <laughs> the two that are still alive, obviously. <laughs> 
Birthday Sex from Jeremiah. Oh, that was not a good song, though. Boy, really, it wasn't, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> birthday Sex, Birthday Sex. <laughs> uh, that can be it. Speaking of solo efforts. Yeah. I, uh, oh, I remember Silk, Freak Me. Charles got suspended for playing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot. Whoa. ACDC, Whole lot of Rosie? Uh, it's about him shagging a large broad. How large are we talking? Uh, apparently one of the guys in the band had snogged a woman of generous proportion and they made a song about it. And it's awesome. <laughs> I need to listen to this. This was the and, Brian Johnson era, wasn't it? Yeah, the original one. Uh, oh, no, it, Bri- Bon it, Scott was the original. Bon Scott, the original. Okay. And uh, Brian Johnson had it on 1990's live album. <clears throat> so it was faster and louder. But yeah, both, both versions are fantastic. Like, yeah. Uh, listen more ACDC. Definitely more Bon Scott. The, the Brian Johnson era just you know, keeps going forever. Yeah. And it had a lot more misses, but... The six years with Bon Scott at the helm are still their best work. Um, Ozzy for so- all- sorry, <clears throat> Axl Rose. Ozzy for all of his uh, shenanigans, he was kind of right when he mumbled that your your first album usually is your best one because you don't have anything to lose. You're giving every you know. You know th- this is also the one with the ten year build up instead of all right, you got another two years to crank out another album. Go for it, fellas. Yeah, Steve, my neck. My back, lick my pussy and my crack. You you think that's a good song, and then you look at who's singing, and you go, "Well, that's not the best it, looking person wanna. I've ever seen." Nope. <laughs> Can we go back to a, a live Aaliyah for that? Because then we could we'll we'll start talking about that, <laughs> but not 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 that one. Uh, oh my God! Kaya later reveals that the best head comes from a thug album. This makes her a sort of oral sex trip advisor. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh my god! I'm glad that's uh gone. Genuine, my pony. Remember that song? Oi, <laughs> my pony, your pony. Mm, yeah. Don't do it. Don't know the words. My pony. I don't know. Need another beer. Drink on it. Yeah. I just got a. An aural shiner. <laughs> per hour. But I can't live with or without you. But a uh, two. That was a interesting. At least... Uh, I can tolerate that. Just punching in sexy rock songs to see what happens. I can absolutely tolerate that song. Joe Cocker <clears throat> says you can leave your hat on. Depending on the position, that's going to be really difficult. And what style? <laughs> and what style? Hat? Uh, you know, I think a beret would be more uh, conducive. Never mind how goofy a beret looks on anybody. A beret when you're in missionaries, fine. And like a ten gallon cowboy hat's fine, <laughs> doggy style. But you can't wear you can't wear a ten gallon cowboy hat while you're fucking missionary. <laughs> how flexible is that rim, lady? <laughs> That's the tagline for the show. <laughs> There's so many good ones. I'm just to save them all up and then just put them on <laughs> random episodes. It doesn't make sense. Uh, uh, what about pour some sugar on me? Did you already say that? Nope. Ah. You're not hot so and sticky thinking, sweet. Uh, Panama by Van Halen apparently is not about the nation or his car. Hmm. What about uh, the band White Snake? <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Going down. You know what? Tony Katane was gorgeous then, and time has not been a kind creature to that woman. Did you ever see the Tom Hanks joint Bachelor Party? No. She's in that. Is it good? It's decent. She's in it. She's beyond decent in that. Interesting. I'll need to investigate this, although it is 80s, so it might be a. It, it's not going to be nearly as rebelled as Animal House um, or Revenge of the Nerds. I was thinking more of carpet matching the drapes in color, uh, the drapes in color and quantity. <laughs> was it's, that an eighties? It, it's not Phoebe Cates here. <laughs> oh yeah, Fast Times. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, God, I, I thought I forgot that. Thanks, thanks for le- thanks for reminding <laughs> me. Uh, Anderson, no, so, something, something wonderful. Kid is beasts of burden by the stones. 
That's my least favorite song of theirs. Never That's mind. the only about the only one I can tolerate. That and um, paint it black. Yeah, that's the last one. Uh, was it Black Roses or Dead Roses? Is pretty good. The Dead Black Roses. <laughs> Fresh Deadly Roses is a good Soundgarden song. The Doors light my fire. <clears throat> Bad Company <clears throat> feels like making love. There's no denying what that song's about. Uh. Bad Company's ready for love. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. There's a band called Peaches with a song called Fuck the Pain Away. <laughs> I feel like we need to actually listen to this. Goodness. this Is is this the greatest song on the list? No, it is the greatest song of all time. <laughs> <laughs> when she's not encouraging sex positivity, Peaches, a former school teacher, finds time to remind us to stay in school because it's the best. Peaches is a badass bitch who knows how to get shit done, and you should listen to every word she says. I have a no idea. What? I don't know. Is this the Amazon review? I don't know, but now I feel like we kind of have to play it. I can't imagine her coming after us for copyright infringement. All right. The the speakers work on this, don't they? Uh, last I knew they did. That sounds like something from Nosferatu. It's a... You can hear that music, but look at what's playing. Lucky Andy Griffith episode. <laughs> this might be a really strange time to tell you this. Oh. But a few weeks ago, I had a dream that was Andy. <laughs> it was a dream when it was Andy Griffith, but in the Dukes of Hazard. Oh, really? And driving a giant ass old Impala instead of a Charger, <laughs> Challenger, and eh, whichever fucking car it was. A Charlinger. A Charlinger. Yeah, it, it was real funny. It was like yeah, you know, Mayberry era Andy Griffith <laughs> cruising around like a hooligan <laughs> in an Apala instead of the Dodge. Oh my god. And of course, upon leaving work today, um coming into the shop was a sixty two Bel Air on the flat on the uh car hauler. Well, that's certainly going to wholesale. <laughs> I don't know how and why they acquired that one. <laughs> oh, my God, Steve. Sucking on my titties like you wanted me. Calling me all the time like Blondie. Check out my Chrissy behind. It's fine all the time like sex on the beaches. What else in the teaches of peaches? I can't believe this is a real song. Well, that's uh, certainly something. Uh it's never going to be as crazy as Paradise by the Dashboard Lights by Meatloaf. Have you heard that bunch of bat shittery? No. It's 17 minutes of who knows what they're about to do to each other. Uh, I don't. Nelly Furtado, uh, Man Eater. Does she not? Does she do a cover of Man Eater? I have my doubts, but apparently the. I forgot how hot she was. Hall and Oates variant. Goodness. That'll work. I don't even know but where she's the, from. The Hall and Oates song is <clears throat> their ode to New York City. And I didn't know that, actually. I can find the darndest <clears throat> stuff through my other, 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 other podcast. Steve. Push it. Push it. Push it real good. Yeah. Evidently, it's, it is. Get down, make love. I don't care if it's Queen or Nine Inch Nails. No, fuck off. Get love and make down. <laughs> uh, you want to do... Uh, start my life. <laughs> what are we doing next? We do uh, you think the Guinness is... Uh, it'll probably fare all right. Let's do that. All right. I get it this time. You got okay. it last time. Right. Anyway, you have to tell me the significance of getting Guinness today. You want to split one? Sure. Which is funny because that's not a strong beer. It's just going to be a very uh, tall pour. Thicker than a snicker. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the most satisfying sound I've ever heard come out of that. Right hey, now my elbow's not drunk. <laughs> Thanks. Probably. Hey, you want to watch this thing once in a while? 
It's, uh, that thing feels like a fucking washcloth in a frat house. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so Be- the- better than a loofah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was the other one? One more. Uh, come on, come on, come on! Now touch me, baby. Don't you see that I am not afraid? <laughs> don't you know I can't emulate Jim Morrison? No, I don't think anybody can or should. <laughs> come on, Val Kilmer. Uh, 1975, The Sex. I don't know who that is. Is that a band? I don't know. It's just like it has a picture of some dude, Matt Healy. Um, I don't know. Bill Withers, use me. That sounds. That sounds interesting. <laughs> uh, all right, now we're now we're getting into really some obscure shit. The Stranglers, Peaches. Goodness, this is not Peach. That's not. That's not the peaches I I was thinking about, but that song's actually really about peaches. Thank you. Mm. So what would be the significance? Wait, what about the Pot USA song "Peaches"? It's not. It's not. It's about peaches. Uh, uh. It really is about peaches. He he says Man, we're all very confused. I'll they, explain. They they had the good sense to kibosh themselves early November of uh, sixteen. Well, he he does film scores for porn now, so uh, he's getting on Pornosonics game. Which is the best <clears throat> porn music you never heard? What about porno for pyros? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> the uh, I have not heard can any. Swim in the Tahitian man. It's just more it, Perry Farrell. That sounds was, like Perry Farrell. So I'm not a big fan. You're of You're not gonna. <laughs> I'm really not a big fan of Jane's Addiction. I think so. Nope, nope. I don't like any Jane's Addiction songs. I think the only one I like is Stop, and that's in. That's ironic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, well, we got uh, Dirty from Christina Aguilera, which was a great video. <clears throat> uh, that's not that's not Vanessa Carlton. <laughs> Outcast spread. <laughs> Wonder what that could possibly be about. <laughs> Uh, it's not on the CD I gave you, but Local H's Keep Your Girlfriend Away From Me. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the MP3 CD totally works. Nice. So, I have a lot of catalog. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, oh, people also ask, what are the best songs to make love to? No diggity? No. The, why would that be a good one from Blackstreet? Why would that be a good... <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Flow along with hey ya hey ya hey ya hey ya. I like a, some that'd be, a, that'd be a horrible loop. Uh, <laughs> like hit Cleveland do it. Hey ya no no hey ya no no hey ya no 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 hey ya. Oh no 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 no. Oh Peter, how you afford all these crazy shenanigans? Lady, lay, lady, lay by Bob Dylan. Uh, a terrible two ministries cover, even worse. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> lay, 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 instead of lay, lady, lay. It's how about any no. song by Prince? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Little Red Corvette. I had explained to Emily that wasn't about what she thought it was about. <laughs> but what about Jim's tribute to him when he died? That was touching, actually. Maybe that was much too fast. It was. Or they, Prince also had a song called Get Off, where he did the video on uh, MTV, and he had the ass cheeks of his pants cut out, and like he didn't tell anybody at MTV, and it was live, and it was fantastic. Are you saying he's wearing assless chaps, or, you know, just chaps, because chaps inherently are assless? No, it looked... <sighs> All right, so if he were just standing still... <laughs> His the bottom half of his body would look like a fly's face. It just looked like the the it was just cut out giant oval cutouts of his ass cheeks. <laughs> like it wasn't chaps, it wasn't assless chaps. It was pants with his ass cheek holes cut out. No pockets for you. No, there yeah, all the pockets were cut out. Okay. <laughs> the sweetest taboo by Sade. Although any Sade song could be the smooth operator. That's a that's a sexy song. Uh, you know what's a not a sexy song? 
pink cell phone from Deftones. Have you heard that? No. It's weird. It's on... Um, so what happens when this case fades? Oh my god, what's the name of that album? It The album's good, but then... That song's very... It's weird even for Deftones. Uh, let's see. Belief in the one true power. And it just repeats that over and over again. And then at the end... It's it has some chick talking about hot carling and sh- st- st- stuff like that, which I'm. It's one of those horrible sexual maneuvers that you don't want to talk about. It's like people that make up shit, and that's. It's not good. It's really not fucking good. <laughs> Look it up later off podcast because that's even too gross for me to to read out out loud. But it's called Pink Cell Phone. <laughs> Are you reading it? Uh, just punch into Google, see what happens, and uh, a lot of people are curious about what it is, and can't even figure out which album it is. What was the significance of drinking Guinness today, other than Guinness is really fucking good? Uh, Guinness being <clears throat> uh, under fire from racists for having their for returning to their Black is Beautiful campaign, which has been around forever. That is true, um, but it because hey, also black beers matter. It does, and what is in it? Uh, like anchovy bladders for the black effect to make a beer that's also not vegan. Absolutely. I thought there would be more innuendo-ish songs about like the wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you you know what the song is about sort of thing. <clears throat> the dirtiest songs, sensual songs, songs for the bedroom. Top 100 lovemaking songs, songs to make love to. Sex positive songs. There's just so many. <clears throat> Bump and grind from R. Kelly. That didn't age very well, did it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> or how about any song from R. Kelly that's not I Believe I Can Fly? <laughs> songs for the bedroom. Partition? What the fuck? Is that the artist of the song? <laughs> Ooh, how about that? <clears throat> yep, go down. 40... The 10 songs you didn't know were about sex. Go on. Ah, uh, fuck me. It's on YouTube. And it's Watch Mojo. <laughs> nope. It kicked off of this. Just Summer of 69. I didn't... I didn't think that was about that. Because <clears throat> he got his first real six string. The summer of 69, 69, 69, 69. Tit. Which is funny because I think at the time Brian Adams would have been like 13. <laughs> yeah. Open Your Heart, Madonna. That video was, was very scandalous because it had like a little 13 year old boy watching her do a strip tease. <clears throat> There's Frankie Says Relax. Okay, apparently since 2016. Um, Guinness is no longer using Isinglass. 2016? Uh, when that was the Fish Guts product used to uh, mitigate yeast production in the beer-making process to give that smooth, creamy texture. I didn't realize it was that recent. I thought it would have been later than that. Correction. <clears throat> Brian Adams would have been 10 the summer of 69. It's highly frowned upon oh, to actually, do that uh, act. Actually, nine. At, at nine years old. Ha! <laughs> Uh, Steve, we um, missed... Unless he's <clears throat> hooking up with a 60-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... I need you, boom and granny. Oh, yeah, I want you, boom and granny. <laughs> Beasties for the win. Every I... time. Because <laughs> I'm 19 and you're 80. <laughs> we forgot uh, a good song from a band we both hate. Crash into me. Ah. Having sex with your teacher. Uh, I still don't like Dave Matthews, but I do like that fucking song. But stop clocks right twice a day. I appreciate the talent. I just don't like not this one, not that one. Can't believe it's we funny missed that. Because uh, Kalen had been a big Dave head, but much like anybody who likes any band from way back in the day, doesn't like the new stuff. <laughs> mm, pretty much. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I never could get into the Grateful Dead or Fish or any pot band. Uh, Grateful Dead, I played a lot of their 
greatest hit CD, which in the middle and high school years sure enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, I could take it or leave it. it it's better than uh, what's the eighty-seven one? Uh, Touch of Grey. Yeah, yeah. It's like the Beach Boys of Kokomo. It's like, hey, the band's still here. We've got one more hit. And like mm. thirty-three years later, it's like, well. <laughs> You're as good as dead. So, I really didn't know Sledgehammer was about sex. Um, hey, it was on a list, so uh, there. It's on this list too. This is, re- I'm playing this is remaining a thoroughly, oh you know, Jesus. Un- unresearched and impromptu because that's how we do. Oh, uh, Steve. Oh hell no! No, why? What? It can't be. But it is Watch Mojo, so. Uh, it's like the BuzzFeed of BuzzFeed. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Dumb. Uh, the guy's hair do always really pissed me off. <laughs> From Aqua. <laughs> you don't remember that? Uh, I can't say I actually bothered watching it. All right. Oh, they has got like the plastic Ken doll hair. No, it, it. He has the like the hair that wraps. It's like you're going bald, and st- but you but you styled it. That is just fucking horrible. It he hasn't it, given up, not yet, Tiger. Make, makes your teeth itch. What you say? <clears throat> yeah, I think the one of the earliest uses of that was uh, Gary Shandling's character, and I think Iron Man Two, ah. when he's like this creepy politician type, and like I was unaware of. The awesomeness that is Larry Sanders, um, that's since been remedied. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That was basically HBO doing 30 Rock before 30 Rock was a thing. Right. Uh, Britney Spears, If You Seek Amy. That was one of Valet regulars like back when I was first in Charlotte, back in 0102. Mm-hmm. Had a band named If You Seek A. Mm-hmm. So I immediately told her, <clears throat> yeah, I'll tell her I say hi. <laughs> Glad you came from The Wanted. Don't know that. Nope. Uh, Genie in a Bottle. I remember when that came out in 1999. Goodness. <clears throat> that m- might have caused one of my two to drop. <laughs> <laughs> I just died in your arms? I'd, cutting crew? Yeah. I, I don't think... Uh, maybe, but... That, poker that, face. I like, I like Lady Gaga. I really do. Did you ever see uh, <clears throat> the fourth iteration of A Star is Born? With her and Brad Cooper? Heard it was good. It didn't suck. Heard it was good. She's got a great... She she writes her own... Like her and T-Swizzle. They, they write their own music. So it's hard to... Like I'm, like, a, I'm a fan of the sheer absurdity <clears throat> of it too. Mm-hmm. YMCA is number one on here. Oh, then that's that's why it's straight sex. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that, number one, huh? Number one, YMCA. <laughs> Nineteen. Is, it, is this seventy six? Eight. You were close without going over, but without looking at the lyrics, I. I guess it is. I guess if you're a man, it's fun to stay at the young men's Christian academy, because we all know that the the religious folk tend to get down a lot freakier than uh, see. See hey, also Jerry Falwell. If you're gonna if you're gonna fall, please fall well. Did you well, see all the terrifying uh, <laughs> from that? Is like he's gonna speak at the convention? No, he's just gonna watch. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that's so amazing. The meme like uh, the, is a cuckoo clock right twice a day. <laughs> I will never understand that fetish. N- you, nobody's nobody's doing nah. that. <laughs> no, nah. not while I'm alive. And even Stephen Hawking level, I would get out of that chair and do something about that shit. There's no fucking way. That's why I couldn't be Polly or anything like that. There's no way I could do that. Oh. Uh... Speaking of Polly, the Nirvana song. That 
I don't that, know. That's, that's just a, that's, count- a, that's a that's way darker in the uh, sexual spectrum. I don't know if that's sexual or if that's just him kidnapping her. I don't know if he actually did anything. Or, uh, what was? There's pretty much no Allison Chains song about that. Do you do you know the lyrics to Big Dumb Sex from Soundgarden? And like, uh, let's see. Is that the one that's, I know what I want to do? I want to fuck, 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 uh-huh. fuck. Yeah, there was a reason. Uh, there's no, that uh, yeah, doesn't need any more explanation, but do go on. They wrote they wrote that song because of something. It, it was I think it was supposed to be like making fun of like 80s hair metal and, and what have you. It was like a response to them like writing a popular song. That was on Louder Than Love, which is a great fucking album that I've been listening to since. <clears throat> You've got a disc containing lots of stuff. Yeah, something like that. Now, how did you do that? It was uh, the magic of having been a pirate forever and then just burn a bunch of songs to CD. So it was whatever bands it was, like whatever would fit along the way between the two otherwise it would have been like an all sound garden all alice in chains but the way it like some of it fit mm-hmm. uh is how that panned out i was asking because if it, like it's the sep- mp3s are still several megabytes that's, yeah i didn't know how uh, you did i didn't that. i didn't want to shrink them because then you'd have a noticeable loss in sound quality. Yes, right. you're in a Jeep, but if you start shrinking music files in particular, oh, I know. it's going to sound bad. 128 uh, is about as low as you want to go. That's, that's CD yeah. quality. <clears throat> um, uh, I think CDs can do better, but that anything lower, you start getting swishing and weird sound artifacting. Right. I was just, I didn't know how you got that many songs on there. So I'm not exactly tech savvy much like the esteban you got any more good ones oh yeah however the song big dumb sex was written as a parody of glam metal bands who often metaphorically address sexual intercourse in their lyrics the song with as many uses of fuck was the only reason the album gained a parental advisory sticker (laughs) (sighs) i'm out i thought there were more songs about sex i'm out steve Hmm. Could have totally done a thing, but nah, we don't research this. We got time. What you got? Isn't it more fun when spontaneity is on the, the horizon? What you got for it? But I need more beer before. Are you good? Or you need more too? Uh, surprise. Hey, you have. You actually have some. I have shiner. a few drops remaining. You have Shiner left. Yay. Um, hmm. Well, Steve. We've had almost everything in that little beer fridge except some Sam Adams. So we could do Sam Toberfest because it's still August. Let's do an Oktoberfest in August. Uh, Colin sent me a picture of having acquired said beer in the same month. Uh, Ooh, I have a fun old Oktoberfest also. Ooh. I got six of those. Okay. You want to do one and one? Sure. All right. Which one do you want? Surprise me. Surprises. <laughs> Have you ever seen ASDF movie? Excuse me? They're called ASDF movie, and it's really short movies. Um, like, And by movies, I mean like eight-second clips. I was really really, ha- I'm sorry. I was really happy when Vine met its demise. It is very I crudely... not dr- care. It's very crudely drawn pictures like um, Cyanide and Happiness, except it's animated. And there's one... <laughs> It's like, Ben, I'm leaving you. I'm, I can't take the abuse anymore and your inappropriate reactions to things. And he goes, we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, I'm drinking a Foothills Oktoberfest and Steve. A Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Every cheers we've had is a, has been a good clink instead of the can. Hey, Steve, guess what? Chicken, but... It's still fucking good. Hey, so is the Sam Toberfest. Weighing in at 5.3. Uh, 
Steve Prince Ludwig was a man of the people, which is why when he married in 1810, he invited the entire town of Munich. Thus, Oktoberfest was born. I didn't know that. Damn. <laughs> Uh, something I can't do with my imaginary wedding in 2020 or 2021. Along with the sweet, dark amber lager that has become the namesake of the annual celebration, and it's true to the classic style with toasted bread and roasted almonds. 5.8%. Your turn. Uh, interjection. Have you seen <clears throat> the castle Neuschwanstein? No. It is the quintessential German castle on the hill. Is that what that means? And that is... <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. But that is King Ludwig's castle, oh. which was spared destruction in World War II since it's a historic landmark and gorgeous, and I've been there cool. 21 years ago. Probably still gorgeous. Yeah, it's uh, quite lovely. Now we'll just have to enter, uh, to, to hey, enjoy was, Ludwig von Koopa yeah, on it Super was, Mario uh, World. Lo- it was long enough ago that uh, the Euro wasn't in circulation. I was spending Deutsche Marks and cool. shot on Film camera. So somewhere I've got pictures from within and without it. It's very nice. With or without it. Yeah, you know, my international travels had included uh, three hours in Mexico and three weeks in Germany. <laughs> Ain't that fancy. Almost mm. five days in a U.S. territory. <laughs> Malt brings so much to a great beer. At the heart of our Oktoberfest... We developed a unique malt blend to provide a deep, robust color and smooth, rich flavor. Like you, we look forward to this tradition every year. So, it's the least we can, u- we can do to make sure every sip is worth the wait. Thanks, Jim. Mm. He looks like a really cool guy to work for. From all the shenanigans and stuff. They don't have... Actually, you know what? You don't see the uh, video, like the, the commercials anymore. You used to see Sam Adams commercials. You don't see those anymore. It's like the it's Boston like, Lager, they... the Full Body, Amber <laughs> Ale. But do the Sam Adams seem to advertise? I don't think so. I mean, but... much like Coke and Pepsi keep advertising, but Lewis Black nailed it. It's like they don't need the sponsor shit. Not really. And there was there was a thing on I think it was YouTube, but it was the Arizona Tea Company, like the Arizona mm-hmm. Drink Company. You never see. That's sponsored, uh, and that's how they keep they, they keep their products so cheap. At ninety nine cents a pop, ninety nine cents for a tall boy can. Cause they don't they don't have to advertise. Like it's a, kind of a staple of every road trip and gas station. That I had one on my way back from Nashville. And so. yet, if I go to a QT station, I'll just pick up their house brand that also costs mm-hmm. a buck for a bottle. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true too. Makes, was, li- makes it a little tougher to crush it. <laughs> yeah. What was your What was your idea? Since uh, you said we didn't research, what was your What was your idea before I, I rebeard us? I thought you had an idea. A fleeting one, apparently. <laughs> a fleet wooding. Oh, the 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 Cherokee's gone. Yes, uh, they're not aware that. Uh, from one atom to another, mm. mind you. Yeah, the the Cherokee's gone. It sold to uh, a guy named Adam. Has a Mustang GT and a bad back, and he needed a car he could get in and out of easily. Deep the Cherokee's like that. Is he hanging on to the Mustang for fast forty thing? Yes, he's doing what but, I did. <laughs> uh, you know, everything mm. short of trading that for a Charger Challenger. That's a living room with, that makes a lot of noise. Uh, those are noticeably more cushy than a Mustang is. It is. And, but and also an easier thing to get in and out of. True, but he's also a manual transmission enthusiast, just like we are. Mm-hmm. So it could not have gone to a better home. He's enjoying it very much. And I got 400 more dollars out of it than I paid for it seven pay, years pay, ago. Pay no mind to maintenance, tires, fuel, whatever have you. But hey, the things you do to keep the thing running... <laughs> I'll bet you, though, I've spent less money on keeping it running than I would have had a normal person had a two fifty a month car payment. I was going to say, uh, then, maybe I even did with the Vibe. That mm-hmm. was cheap, but every so often, something would bite, something would go wrong. But the, whatever nursing along to get it to mm-hmm. pass inspections when that would still work, well, there went a, a buck eighty. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then when it finally didn't work, 
okay, it's time, short of, you know, registering the car at Brian Kirkland's house or something. <laughs> yeah, we're, South yeah, Carolina. Yeah, I just, just happen to be running around this old car with South Carolina plates now, because they don't care. So, South Carolina. I'm curious what happened to it, and I may never know. And I'm okay with that, too. I don't I don't think that that would be properly VinWikied. No. <laughs> Minus 2000 was. Is on VinWiki only because I bought it from Atlanta and VinWiki's out of Atlanta. So, do you have a prior story to it, or is nope. it because you it's added it just or, on VinWiki? Okay. Yeah, it, it has no story. It's just it was registered <laughs> and what have you. That S2000 has lived an interesting life, actually, because it was originally sold brand new, I think, in Alabama and okay. then in, Atl- in Atlanta for. Four years, and then North Carolina for seven. Now it's in Washington That's State. That's quite the trajectory. You go, duh, duh, duh. Fuck. Uh-huh. Whereas my Cherokee was Fayetteville from the Chrysler Jeep Dodge dealer in Fayetteville. It's been a North Carolina. It's been titled and owned in North Carolina its entire life. Wow. Which is impressive. Uh, The first Tacoma was from Concord. The camera I had before that was Raleigh Durham car. The second Tacoma I got at a dealer in Marshville and at the time I knew where it was, but I think it was another local <clears throat> car. The vibe came from Ben Minat and Concord mm-hmm. and they also couldn't complete the airbag recall. Do they ever say why? Uh, there have been issues on the form that GM dealers really couldn't give less of a shit about trying to get this fixed. Well, a, the brand's been dead for ten years. Why are you still driving this thing? Like, because it's the best damn car that wore any sort of GM badge. That's why. Yeah, GM doesn't seem to care about there. the cars that are still in production, yeah. except the Corvette and the Camaro and. Tahoe and Suburban. <laughs> yeah, any any of their big money makers. Yeah, or ne- uh, never mind their you know attempts at things interesting or oddball. You know the uh, the Sonic Turbo Hatchback. You know completely batshit tiny thing. Yeah, and saw kind of an opposite lock that did like su- like soup one up. Well, I heard like, I might have a thing that didn't have mods for it, so that's fun. Well, I heard you're an absolutely colossal, total flaming bitch if you drive a Trax. <laughs> <laughs> Voluntary, yeah. Uh, at least if it's not a rental, yes. <laughs> oh, that creature ain't watching this. Uh, that creature doesn't know to watch I this. I don't fucking care if she... Uh, if it does. <laughs> <laughs> Because uh, that's what you replace a scion ion with. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, one, the one shiny thing of that was it was a stick. However, mm-hmm. uh, that was subject to the uh, ignition, ignition switch recall back in the day. Funny because lots of cars nowadays have the push button thing. It's like, oh, good. So if your key remote dies, so does your car. Gah. I've seen some... Strange things happen when with uh, car batteries or remote batteries dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, a Toyota Sienna will default to not letting you have the power doors function. Okay. Never mind, there's a switch down about by your knee that's the power door off. Mm-hmm. Well, it's also an on switch. <laughs> uh, you can break into any Jeep Wrangler, with, even with a hard top, with a 10 millimeter socket. <laughs> But uh, by the way, don't tell people that. Edit gonna, this out. It's gonna take a while though, and then people are going to ask. People are gonna see you do that, so they're gonna ask you why. Because of the exposed uh, door bolts. No, that is a, those are all Torx bits. Okay. Um, it's on the back hatch. What's holding the glass hatch? Because the glass lifts up. But you also have to pop that off. And then you have to take all those bolts off. And then you have to do that without anybody seeing you. And then you have to do that. And the alarm's going to go off when you get inside of it any fucking way. So you can do it, but you're probably going to make a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you hear about Gray's 
glass hatch breaking in Atlanta years ago. No. Uh, it appears they've remedied that since, but after one of the Decatur Beer Festivals, he had been in, in Auburn visiting family in Alabama, mm-hmm. and on his way back, dropped by Atlanta before we were all heading back, and opened it up to show us a Jeep. And this was two years in them having it. Mm-hmm. The glass portion of the back of the Jeep shattered upon opening it up. Just just opening it. Just, just either opening it or closing it, but something like, you know, standard function, like, yes, it's a sheet of glass, but you've seen what yours looks like. Oh, yeah. It's this quarter-inch thick sheet of, if, yeah. you know, how could it? Y- yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you got the drive back from Atlanta to Charlotte missing the back portion of it. Well... I can't imagine. I don't know. I, I I don't I don't know. But that one also has that really horrible ass engine in it too. But it has a brand new engine. I think he has a pretty good warranty on it. Uh, yeah, the original one tanked at about a hundred k, and I think that was still within the era of the very generous warranties from Mopar slash. FCA, pro FCA, something. Yeah, FCA that, was 2011, I think. Was that okay, was I think that's that, what his is. No, uh, it was. Grace is older than that, I think. I thought it was a 10? 2010 because it had the worst interior and the worst engine. It's not. You could ask him. It's not the. I, I it, can't. It, it's. Uh, <laughs> oh, hear it now. Um, I'm bothering him right now. We, we almost have one fifth of our entire downloads. All time, just in this August. <laughs> We're doing something right. Maybe. <laughs> Th- thanks, whoever. Uh, that's a lot of downloads. <laughs> and I promise you, we're not making extra accounts to do this because I don't have time to fucking do that. Uh, we need to have Gray. Gray would be a good guest to have on. Uh, back, you know, when COVID's not a real threat and he doesn't have a child and wife to go home to and. We don't want to infect anybody with yeah, our potential. Yeah, and I up, uh, she's a teacher for CMS, so who knows how that's going. <laughs> hey, Courtney. I'm suddenly Good glad, luck. I'm suddenly glad I did not finish that degree <laughs> that I started. Uh, I'm still f- taking my year off that I took uh, yeah. 16 years no, ago. Take a lifetime off, whatever. Nobody's getting out alive anyway. Yeah. Especially um, if Agent Orange gets another four. <laughs> um, yeah, back... During the online dating thing, a lot of the early women in that I was going out with were teachers. Oh? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And I'm... Anthony, upon having been a teacher himself, suggested that's a really stupid idea, by the way, because <laughs> they're kind of nuts. And he's right. He is right. Um. They just don't pay enough. You're always, you're pretty much always at work. Even during the summer, you have lesson plans. You, especially the first couple yeah, you, of years. You only, ha- you only have the lessened, pun intended, variant of your own job. Yeah. We will end with uh, our buddy Toby is doing the Murphy to Mantio drive. Uh, he started Sunday. He, dude, he's got a Civic SI. He needs it to an NC State cannonball. <laughs> So he will be, he was in Lexington yesterday. No. That yes. sounds right. Lexington yesterday. I'm not sure where he is now, and I cannot text him because my phone's over there. Uh, but the Murphy DeMantio Drive is significant because it's the most, it's the westernmost and the easternmost incorporated cities in North Carolina. So and I think it's 505. 500, I was thinking 560. If only we could look it up. I'm trying to think, um, maybe it's 560, by the way, Highway 64 goes. It has Mur- I, I, I typed Murphy to Mantio. The first, the first response was a Google map of Murphy USA gas station uh, nearby to Mantio, and it's an hour and 26 minutes from Elizabeth City. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> That's amazing that it did that. Google has a... Uh, has a sense of humor. 
All right, that says um, 473 in the east and 545 by car. So think as the crow flies, it would be that. But it's 545, 545 by... So yeah, he'll... 74, 64, 8 hours, 52 minutes apart. But he's stopping and sleeping and eating and sightseeing too. Um, so... And upon crashing in car, that's going to be... Snug, but not impossible. Um, hotel some nights, uh, car other nights. I guess it depends on where he decides to stop, because if you're in... I'll be honest. I would rather sleep in the Jeep than certain hotels. Uh, other hotels are nicer, but more expensive. So it's kind of a... Which, I, I got a feeling hotels right now cheap. are going to be chert deep. Yeah. Yeah, you would think so. But ours in Nashville wasn't. But it was a Marriott, so... It was three hundred and eighty dollars for three nights. Not terrible, but not great. That uh, I want to do an epic road trip like that, but um, I want to do it cross country. I would like to do the I forty, and I also like to do Route sixty six. Or what remains of it? Yeah, I probably got feeling like parts of that are just integrated into interstate whatever. Probably so. Um. That'd be neat to do. Um, what else would some some poor bastard on opposite lock had, like kept a mile log? He's driven all up and down. He's driven from like I forgot the Cape, not the Cape of Good Hope. That's South Africa, all the way down South America to all the way up near Alaska. He's driven like through South wow. America, Mexico, and I heard about a guy that was doing that, but like in a Vanagon. Oh my god! <laughs> Why? Do you want to go up the yeah, mountain do, in negative do, miles per yes, hour? Yes, do you want to make, you make this trip? Because Bolivia is going to kill you and oh, your dog. Well, at least it's narrow. At least the Vanagon's narrow, but you have to actually, I don't know, get uh, up the mountain. The, the uh, what was it, the death road in Patagonia? Yep. When it's one lane? Mm-hmm. Like, to make one of the best Top Gear episodes as well? That one? That one's one of the best. Vietnam is one of the best. Uh, what What's your favorite Grand Tour? I've not seen enough of it to okay. do that. Like, I, the last few years, like I just gave up trying to watch anything on the regular. <laughs> so this means I've got two seasons of Archer and three seasons of the Grand Tour to catch up mm. on. I don't know when. I don't know how. I don't know if. <laughs> but uh, there's... You know, some neat stuff out there that I just stopped caring. You know, and you also have high score to watch on Netflix because I watched that... an I watched an episode yeah. and bought a Pac Man game for the Switch. Oh fuck yes, because it was sixty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> some sort of new three D Pac Man, you bet your ass. The last episode I watched because the... uh, there's a picture that my mom has of me on my first birthday. Where I have destroyed a Pac-Man cake. I need to see this picture. My favorite thing in Vegas was the four-player competitive Pac-Man arcade. Mm -hmm. Did you see any of these? I did. Like, flat top machine, you got four players, and you get a power pellet. Like, you can go after the ghosts and go after their players Mm -hmm. and then win the money. Yep. I, Uh, I... I burned 20 bucks slowly that way. That was on, was that a, which which casino was that at? Uh, The Link and at Caesars. Ian, Colin's brother, spotted this and like, hey, Steve, find your game. Like, you're not wrong. (laughs) We we were in The Link a little while. Caesars is where I lost 400 bucks at the poker table. Fuck. But then the... Caesars like just looks expensive. So great though. (laughs) Uh, That was... The night before, the night after, when Sean taught me how to play craps at uh, the Mirage, is where I won back eight hundred dollars because I lost four hundred in slot machine, four hundred to poker, won eight hundred and fifty at craps. So nice, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. If you break even in Vegas, you had a good time. Uh, you got any parting shots for the viewers and listeners? Nah, me either. Is this, uh Kind of hilarious that a job I applied to back in February has popped back up. 
how interested are you? Um, how interested are they? <laughs> initially, I don't know if it's a person or a bot that had dropped me a line about this, and then it went nowhere. So they or it apparently was not. Mm. But it's real funny to see that it's IT for a food production company that makes private label stuff. You know, house brands. Oh. Well, given my uh, tendency to collect those things, like even my own car is an off brand. They are living vicariously through you and they don't even know it. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I wish go, you would. Uh, you know, give me a job throwing myself in front of someone else's computer for 50K a year. We're good. Yes. Yeah. The finances have me stressing out to the point I'm cracking now. <laughs> I. Well, we'll talk afterwards. <laughs> we uh, we might have to start. It was just uh, real funny that uh, valet company is like, "Hey, we got a few things popping up." It's like, I don't want to do traffic control at UNCC. It's like, it, it's a moot point. Why are they moving in when it's all going to be remote anyway? Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of silly, actually. And that's <laughs> going to be the thirty first through the. What the buzz? I. Th- all right, so my neighbor, Joe, nice guy, they're moving. So he's been doing a lot of pressure washing at 8 o'clock at night on the house and home improvement projects. So I'm hoping somebody next door that's that I like actually moves in. Uh, I wish Caitlin had a job and you guys could just, like, move in next door because that would be awesome. But it has a negative yard, and that's what Caitlin doesn't like. But Steve has to cut the grass, so... It'd be nice I to take 20 really, minutes to... I really hate cutting the grass on a half acre. All right. At least with a pusher and not buttering by a rider for a rental. Is that picking up? Actually not. It's not picking up. We can hear okay. it just fine. Uh, <laughs> if that had a condenser mic, it would pick up. These are dynamic mics, so the range is a lot... More direct. It's a lot more direct. As, uh, luckily, with yours and the guard there, because mm-hmm. window is going to produce a lot more noise than. Oh yeah, it's coming out of that wall. The, Who's pressure washing the guest room? And why? How did you get in here? <laughs> <laughs> how did you get past mom and the three kitties? Emily, <laughs> watch, watch uh, wife. Kai, Cairo, Cairo, let them in. Uh, most likely, Cairo's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. A cute monster, but a monster. A cute monster, just like Emily. <laughs> All right, I'm out of beer. We're out of time. Steve, I guess we'll see you in 70 in a week or two. Uh, any parting shots for the folks? Nah. Me either. All right, Steve. Just uh, trying to stay hopeful. Just trying to stay helpful. Trying to stay healthy. Let's got one of them. Because don't be sad, because one out of three ain't bad. Be backwards, I'll be dies. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. CN7069's done. Greedles. Later. <laughs>